Hi, welcome back to me and Monami and to the final episode of our huge adventure in which we've been attempting to take our Citroen Ami Elton all the way along the French Riviera from Villefranche-sur-Mer to Saint-Tropez and today we are headed to Saint-Tropez. <laughs> So, we are finally on the road to Saint-Tropez, perhaps one of the most mythologized places on earth. It was, of course, once just a tiny little fishing village here on the Mediterranean, but then somebody called Brigitte Bardot came along in the 1950s with, uh, what was the name of the movie? And God Created Woman. And God Created Woman. And uh, the rest, as they say, is history. Set in the pagan paradise of the French Riviera, swirls the fast-moving, fascinating story of a demon-driven temptress who thought the future was invented only to spoil the present. What was the plot of, uh, of God created woman. The action is set in Saint Tropez. Juliet is an 18 year old orphan in Saint Tropez with a high level of sexual energy. She makes no effort to restrain her natural sensuality lying nude in her yard, habitually kicking her shoes off and stalking about barefoot. Her first suitor is a much older, wealthy Eric Carradine. He wants to build a new casino in Saint Tropez, but his plans are black blocked by a small shipyard. A small shipyard. Yes. Oh, I love a deserted, uh, deserted fun park, don't you, Mr. Boo? It reminds me of Scooby Doo. Very, very spooky, spooky. Oh, it always ended in deserted fun park, Scooby Doo. <laughs> is that man about to have a wee behind his car? Yes, on his special boot. Isn't that charming? you can see over here, we're beginning to hit the vineyards. They're looking a bit barren today though. Aren't they? Barren hard up. And uh, yet again, this is the third of our mystery hotels. Mr. Boo has deliberately kept me um, in the dark as to which hotels we've been uh, booked into on this trip. Probably because he didn't want me to know how much they cost. Because um, he, he just said, you know, he knows I'd have said, can we take a tent instead? But um, anyway, we shall see where we're staying. Is it another one with EV charging? I certainly hope so. EV charging and dog friendly have been our two prerequisites. Um, but we, um, we've stayed in some interesting places thus far. So let's see what Saint Tropez brings. Oh, there he is. <laughs> and there ahead of us, in the distance, is Saint Tropez.
salt to go left, like when you get to the... I like this square, it's very beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. Bit of patank in the middle. Traitor if we'll see. You can still get a crap, Mr. Boo. Well, that's good. It's a main thing. Remarkable how many of the high end shops are just completely closed. And... Giving you a flavour of what it is, uh, in, like in Saint Tropez, as the light is beginning to fade at about 4:15 p.m. and uh, there's a, a little citron of me just just place there, citron place that there for especially, because obviously we are, you know, entirely sponsored by citron. Um, <laughs> I wish, uh, but um, that gives you a flavour of what it's like. But we're now going to check into this mystery hotel. Uh, and uh, then, we're going to take you with us, by the way, and then uh, we're going to check out Saint-Tropez on a Saturday night as we celebrate the end of our epic Riviera expedition to Saint-Tropez. So uh, come with us for a night out in uh, Saint-Tropez. Mm -hmm. Electric charging would be near to the building, probably, wouldn't it? You know, just because it'd have to be mm. wired in. It'd have to be the full thing back on. Have a park. Well, let's check out this uh, mystery accommodation. Show us inside, Mr. Boo. What a building. Don't look at all the names. <sighs> it's a modernist masterpiece. Great old posters of it. Yeah. That's It would have been the lobby of the hotel. We just got out to unpack the cars. Suddenly, over the bay, over the Gulf of Saint-Tropez, the sun has come out at sunset, just in time. Wow, look at this corridor. It's spectacular. Oh. Look 
look at this. This is modernism and a half. because it's totally different from the other two places. Mm -hmm. And knowing what a design freak you are, I thought I would choose something from the design freak zone. It's definitely the design freak zone. It's, uh, it's definitely not the best Western plus. It's got a little bit more edge, but I absolutely love this. Just this tiny side view. Turn on this marvelous lamp. I love these lamps. That's better. But yeah, look at that gorgeous view out there back around the coast where we've come from. That is absolutely incredible. must have known, the architect must have known that the mountain range would reflect into this window. Don't you think? Yeah. It's just brilliant. It's just incredible because you just keep coming down these identical and beautiful staircases. And then another incredible view opens up. Can you see her? Oh yeah, she's a little old lady watching the telly. She's on telly now. And if you come down these incredible corridors, look how the sunset lights up the floor. Let's go to the end and see what it looks like through this. Ah. Sadly, the lights came on. Mr. Boo, it's warmer outside than in there. It's true. It's uh, it's not a building with much heating in the common parts. It was not meant for winter. It is stunning though. Just look at that. Those lines. Tree to charge him, look. There he is, where the gardener puts his blower. You see, you can't do that with a Tesla and charge in two hours. So oh, we're back in the Patank Square and it's definitely very wintry here, isn't it, Mr. Bowman? Mean, the restaurants are full, but it's, uh, this is Santa Pay out of season. You can see Fred is, uh, I want to say, boarded up, papered up, papered up for the winter. But it's kind of nice. It's 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 not the manicness of summer. Which the only time I've been was was crazy. Yes. Uh, not really for me. Um, but it's buzzy rather than busy. Um, but we're trying to find somewhere to eat. And Mr. Boo, we just walked past a very average-looking place, and he said the flat of was twenty-nine euros. I was like, what? He said, well, yeah, we'll get used to it. That's what everything is here. So here we go, I've got to get used to it. What have you got, Mr. Bill? I've got some... I've got some old fancy. Lovely. I've got some uh, carbonara. Good. Good. Taste. Mm. good. Mm. Very good. Very good. Guess what I've got? Steak cha cha. Of course you have. 
I haven't put any spice in. Oh, it's nice. Very nice. Well, I was going to say that was delicious, but I always say that was delicious, but I don't actually. In fact, there are many times we go places and they're terrible. <laughs> and uh, I just don't say anything because, you know, if you've not got anything nice to say about someone, it just keeps stung, I think. Exactly. Um, that place is absolutely lovely. The guy who runs it is lovely. It's full of locals. There's a big table of 10 near to us. Uh, all the guys, all the girls, uh, and all their kids at one end. It was really very family and the food is terrific. The steak tartare was absolutely excellent. The wine is terrific. Uh, and even though we had a Moufassi starter, uh, the whole thing was 74 euros. Now, in Saint-Tropez, <laughs> trust me, that's probably a bargain. Um, Definitely. So it's a restaurant called L'Olive. Um, if you come to Saint-Tropez, go up the back streets, find it. Because, trust me, you'll have a much better meal than uh, you'll have uh, in one of those plastic tented things, which are all, as uh, Mike Harding said, fur coat, no knickers. <laughs> Look at this enormous uh, peeled banana in here, Mr. Boo. Oh, I love my banana. Eh? Look at that. It's very pink. I, wouldn't you love that in your garden, eh? Isn't it just, just glorious? This is the lovely bit of saint at this time of year. Look at this, this is the little beach. This is Saturday night. No thumping music. No <coughs> Euro trash on their yachts. Anyway, we're now going down onto the seafront to look at some, um, well, you know, trendy young people living at large on a Saturday night in saint Let's see what's happening. So, do you think, Mr. Boo, you think this was the middle of the night? This is quarter to ten on a Saturday night in Saint Tropez. This is the party capital of the Mediterranean. <laughs> you know, I am so pleased it's this dead because it's actually absolutely lovely. But Senecchie, the uh, the Café de Paris of Saint Tropez, <coughs> is still round, of course. But, uh, I, I'm with Alan Bennett, you know? I think red's a common colour. Halloween, you show us up everywhere. Just when you thought that everywhere in Saint-Tropez was sleepy and asleep, this place, what's it called? VIP Room Joya. VIP Room Joya is pulsing. This is all the famous people who've been at the VIP Room Joya, is it? Yeah, there's Kate Moss, there's Giorgio Armani, there's Gaga. There's Armani and Navy. Donatella. George Clooney looking about 23. Pamela Anderson. Kylie. Oh. I bet they won't let us in, Mr. Boo. There's quite a few people on here that have been cancelled, which is quite funny, but... So I imagine all these sort of hipstery trucks selling Belgian fries and burgers and God like this keep people replenished as they try and go into the VIP room, whatever it's called, and all the other places. I have to say, I'm absolutely delighted they're all shut. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I uh, I think it's time we, we drew this vlog to a close, and indeed this series of vlogs. Um, it's been quite a journey up or down the French Riviera, whichever way you want to put it, in Elton. Um, and uh, obviously we've got a lot more stuff to come down here, but we finally made it to Saint-Tropez. Hope you've enjoyed this series. If you have, uh, please think about supporting the channel. I know you probably think we just wander around having the most glamorous time. 
but actually ma making these films does take quite a lot of effort. In fact, it takes a hell of a lot of effort and a lot of editing time. Uh, and none of those hotels we went in and stayed in the last three days were free. They weren't product placement. And now there's some music playing and we'll get copyright clutched on this. Um, so if you can possibly find it in your soul to support the channel, either buying some merchandise or uh, uh, buying us a coffee or whatever, it does make a huge difference. And not just financially, but psychologically, because it's nice to think that people appreciate what we do. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a like, please give us a comment. And remember, stay charged. Bye.